Our home is located in the midst of a mixed hardware forest on a bluff overlooking Plowboy Bend of the Missouri River. We were delighted by the variety of wildlife we saw around the house and on the adjoining acreage. This video will focus on birds that are year-round residents and attractive to running water. Two structures which I have referred to as bird creeks have been situated on the edge of a small stand of mature trees. The second bird creek is a masterpiece that was constructed by a company called the Gardeners here in Columbia. Both bird creeks were located on the edge of the clump of trees immediately in front of the house. This made it easy to see from inside when birds and other wildlife were present. Before showing you the bird gallery, I want to give you a brief preview of the other creatures that use the Bird Creek and its environs. Because of our feeders, it's not surprising that the most common permanent residents are seed eaters, such as morning doves, titmice, chickadees, nuthatches, blue jays, and cardinals. Morning dove is a very good description of this bird's vocalization. Tufted titmice are by far the most abundant permanent resonance, dominating the water feature and unintimidated by the larger cardinals and blue jays. Blue jays are the largest of the common birds that use the water feature extensively. They really don't have a song, but lots of varied calls. Northern cardinals are also common users of the water feature, and males have beautiful, robust songs. My spouse Dana's favorite bird, the white-breasted nuthatch, seldom comes to the water for drinking or bathing, but delights her with its head-down movements on tree trunks. <laughs> My favorite abundant seed eater is the black-capped chickadee. 
In winter, they are joined by a few Carolina chickadees and hybrids because the Missouri River marks a contact zone for black caps north and Carolina south. American goldfinches are the most common finches. Males have beautiful rich colors in the breeding season and females are duller. Male and female house finches have strikingly different plumages. Carolina wrens are feisty birds with a variety of calls and a lovely song. Cedar wax wings can show up at any time of the year, but are most common in the summer and winter. These are newly fledged bluebirds. Adults are beautiful, of course, and have a very pleasant song. American robins are in the thrush family, and these fledglings have spotted breasts like other thrushes. Adults are handsome birds, and they have a very cheerful song. Skulking brown thrashers are very interesting and have remarkably beautiful songs.
of suet feeders are especially attractive to the woodpeckers, although some of the other birds I've mentioned also use them. Woodpeckers and some of these other birds can be seen caching uh, bits of suet and, of course, seeds. Downy woodpeckers have relatively short, stubby bills. Compared to downies, hairy woodpeckers are slightly larger and have a longer, more pointed bill. Here we see a red-headed woodpecker stealing a caching or storage site from a hairy woodpecker. Like other woodpeckers, redheads are primary cavity nesters, which means that they excavate their own nest holes. Red-bellied woodpeckers are much more common at the Bird Creek than red-headed woodpeckers. We seldom see the magnificent pileated woodpecker near the Bird Creek, and so far we've not seen them in the Bird Creek drinking or bathing. Northern flickers are ground-feeding woodpeckers that are relatively uncommon at the Bird Creek. Eastern towhees are also skulking ground feeders. They have lovely songs and calls. Song sparrows are more open wetland species and usually only show up in the wintertime around the Bird Creek. The video of the singing ones is from Eco Bluffs, a Missouri conservation area near here. Cowbirds are brood parasites and we sometimes see songbirds feeding some of their young.
Freckles are most common in wetlands, but we often see them around the Bird Creek. When this barred owl was detected in the daytime near the Bird Creek, many of the smaller residents mobbed it. Wild turkeys forage in the vicinity of the Bird Creek, but we've never seen one in the Bird Creek. The sharp-shinned hawk is the most common raptor and often tries, sometimes successfully, to catch the seed eaters. Red-shouldered hawks are much less common and more often seen in the winter than in the summer around the Bird Creek. And the last shot of a red tail shows something we never expected to see.